what's up everybody welcome back to the channel i am super excited because i just unboxed my brand new all you need eight inch flat lap from high tech diamond this is my first legitimate piece of lapidary equipment and i just cannot wait to start using it i got a few more things i got to finish setting up with it which i'm going to be doing here in a second and i'm also going to show you what we're going to be polishing today which is a lake superior agate that's beautiful but before we do i want to say a big thank you to high tech diamond they've actually sponsored our channel so that we can increase the quality of our lapidary adventures. They so generously sent this over to us and I cannot wait for all the different things that I'm gonna be polishing on this bad boy. But let me get this thing set up and then we'll show you what we're gonna be polishing today. so what we're going to be polishing today because this is the first time I'm just going to start small but I have all these other agates and other beautiful things to polish as well as stuff in these bins to be polished or cut and polished so that'll be fun but this cut nodule is absolutely beautiful and on the inside it has white water level banding which is really awesome and I'm really excited to get this polished up in the future, for the next polishing, I'm gonna be taking something from this box, which is my best of the best agates box, and I'll be polishing that. So really excited for that. So let's get the rest of this stuff set up with this sweet piece of equipment and we'll get going. So I got the top bin for the water that goes through this tube in the valve, drips onto the different gridded discs and drains down to this tube into this waste bin which we'll discard of. This is the 180 grit diamond disc. Then we move on to 325, 600, 1200, and then this felt disc that we apply this 14,000 grit paste to give it that mirrored polish. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna get going and get grinding on this beautiful exterior agate. so after a minute this is this piece right here that's looking pretty good look at those beautiful bands in there that's cool and then this piece is with the tile saw you can see all those lines in there see that whereas this one is looking really good might work this one for another minute or so and then I'd say probably two three minutes with this one and then we can move on to the next disc which is really awesome that's a lot of time Last winter, I hand polished these things and it would take 10 to 15 hours just for one face. So this is, this is great. <laughs> Max speed on this thing is 3400 RPMs, and that's what I have it at right now. So, yeah, if anybody has any tips on this thing, let me know. This is my first time ever using it, so, yeah. I'm gonna pause for a second. This right here is a splash guard, and as you can see right here, it's still coming up quite a bit, so I'm just gonna raise it up just a little bit more. That way, I don't have to worry about as much spillage. You just do that by screwing these in a little more and it raises it all right up. Make sure it's level. Not like that matters, but. All right, 
That should be fine. So we have gone through the 325 grit, moving on to the 600. That's this one. And these are actually, get those dried off a little bit. They're looking amazing. The only issue I'm seeing is right here in this mossiness at the bottom, is there some slight pitting. You can see it right there. There's nothing we can do about that. That's just the mossiness. But those bands are really popping. So cool. So I'm going to get going on the 600 grit. And it's only taken like, I would say a minute or two for each one at best. That's just amazing how quick it's going. So I'm done with the 600 grit dusk, and I'm finding that they're really wet, obviously, but I wonder if there's a, a really good way to get them dry a little quicker. Um, I do have a dehumidifier down here. Maybe that'll help pull some of the moisture off of them. If you guys have any ideas, just let me know, but I'm going to move on to the 1200 disc. Super excited because these are looking absolutely amazing. Let me show you this. That's crazy. That's just crazy for 600 grit. So I'm super pumped to move on to the next one. 1200. So we've gone through the 180 grit, the 325, this guy, the 600, and now the 1200. And I'm actually just like blown away. <laughs> this is so cool. The 1200, I just smudged it with my finger, I think, right? No, that's an internal fracture, never mind. But the 1200, look at that. It's just crazy. And like I said, there's that little bit of pitting going on. The bottom there from the mossiness. It just is what it is. But that's crazy. So, I'm going to move on to this guy. 14,000 felt disc with the polishing paste on there. And i got to put it on a certain way here. And you're supposed to put three dots. Vertically and horizontally. So, we'll just do that. Rub it in and see how that goes no idea if i'm putting too much or too little but we'll figure it out so we'll rub that in and get it hooked up all right we got the polishing paste rubbed in what i'm going to do is i'm just going to polish one and then compare it to the other just to show you what the difference between 1200 and 14,000 looks like so let's do that so here they are this is the one polished with the compound I haven't done this one yet and uh, you can tell there's this one I found and actually has some grit marks from I think it's probably from that diamond disc so if I would have caught that earlier I'd be able to work that out but this one is looking pretty good I'm just running that second one through the polish here all right, so here they are. It looks pretty good. I can kind of see the reflection in there. <laughs> but I'm pretty happy with this. This is absolutely crazy. This one actually looks like the white looks like Lake Superior. That's pretty cool. That's got some amazing bands in there. I love the white and the water level down here. Looks like waves to me, doesn't it? The waves of Lake Superior. <laughs> 
pretty beautiful. That's awesome. Absolutely great. Well, that was really fun and they turned out really great. I'm really happy with the end product with these. Still got a lot to learn with that unit since that was the first time I've ever used it, but I only polished that for about an hour. Compared to hand polishing for 10 to 15 hours before, it's a lot better. <laughs> so again, a huge thank you to High Tech Diamond for sponsoring the channel, supplying us with some amazing equipment. Again, if you guys want to go check them out, I'll have the link to their website in the description box below. And if you guys want the 10% off for accessories, use the promo code EGGEDAD. It'll all be in the description box below. If you want to see what's in this brown box that's going to be polished in the next video, hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.